I'm Dr. Daisy. It's very nice to meet you. Yes, I'm going to be your doctor for the day. I can see that the nurses have already prepared you. Attach the right cables onto the accordion. Spots here and there. Lovely. I've got a little monitor on this side as well as on this side. Yeah, we just want to make sure that you are in no pain and that we check to see if everything is going the way we want it to go. Right. Now, I would need you to do me a favour because recently, unfortunately, our system had a bit of a shutdown. So, um, I will have to ask you to go through your personal information with me again. Just want to make sure that everything is still up to date. Um, we have since repaired the system, but well, it's always safe to make sure. Don't you think? Right. Okay, so you are patient number. 114 today. And now I need your name. Full name, please, yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's good. Right, now I need your date of birth. a mistake on this one. Okay, better make sure that everything else is correct. Right, do we need your address? Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've been there before. Hmm, it's a lovely area. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, right, now I would like to have your phone number. Mm -hmm. Oh, any is fine. Mobile number, landline. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lovely, thank you. And last but not least, um, we always like to have an email here an email address just to make sure that we can send you something if your phone maybe not be working. Mm. Yeah. Just as another means to be able to contact you. Okay. Dot com. Perfect. Okay. Right. Now, just to make sure that I have everything correct, you have the full Android set, correct? Mm -hmm. Is it the uh, B version or is it the C version? Actually, you know what? I could just check. Um, I'm going to quickly scan you, okay? This will not hurt you, I promise. You can just look straight ahead, focus on my nose, okay? This will only take a couple seconds, okay? Alright, so just look straight ahead, concentrate, and here we go. Okay, thank you very much. So, we have B4 with added privileges as well as I presume you need these eyes for work, correct? Mm. All right, yeah. Okay. And you've had these eyes for just about what does it say? Um, two weeks. Mm. Okay. All right. So um, let me know about the symptoms. When did everything start? And um, whatever happens, does it happen more at daytime, nighttime? Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. I just wanted to write everything down. So, um... Okay. Right. Um, did you possibly wear glasses as a child? So you're saying in one eye it's a little um a little difficult to focus. Okay. Is that after you've been um looking at a certain object for a certain amount of time? Like if you've maybe been in front of your computer screen for about ten hours or so? No, okay. And how is the um, the rewind, the replay function? Is that all right? Hmm. Okay. So the save file sometimes tends to act up a little bit. That's at the front here, just at the top. Just here. Um. I think we might have to actually go in with some with some actual tools up here. I mean, for the regular um sight we can of course just do a little exam but um in that case i might want to send you to my colleague um in a couple of hours just to make sure mm. yeah because it could be something to do with the eyes themselves but also what i would like to check let me just take my gloves for this um i would like to check your nose because as you know um, your eyes have obviously been planted in a way that the connection is right in the middle of your nose. And sometimes um, it can happen when you've been experiencing a very hot summer or if you've been on holiday that sometimes it gets a little bit too hot and it basically burns out. So I'm just going to check your nose just very gently like this. Just gonna feel around it just to see if uh, let's see. Okay, does that hurt at all? No. Okay. Right. Okay, on the other side as well. Okay, that seems to be alright. Um now you said you had problems with focusing. In that case, um, do me a favour, just look straight ahead, focus on my nose, or anywhere in the centre of my face, okay? And then I'm just going to use my fingers, and I'm going to gently and slowly let them drift apart from each other. I'm going to go up and down as well. I just want to see how your eyes respond. I'm not going to go too far. So, your peripheral vision seems just about fine. Okay. How about if I come a little bit closer and take the finger on the other side to the back? Like so. Going to be a little bit faster. test. Um, I'm going to see. Uh, you just, again, look straight ahead and let me know which finger I'm wobbling, okay? Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Okay. Right, let's do that again, but like so. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. 
Possibly when um, when you're having the problems focusing, is it with very vibrant colours? Maybe. Okay. Mm. Well, sometimes um, your set of eyes tends to need about two to three weeks to get used to the vibrant colours because obviously you can now take more in. Um, essentially, like um, some of the fish in the sea that have um, bioluminescence. Um, visible to them. Um, it can be a little overwhelming at first, but you don't have to worry about that. Um, let's do nothing. Um, tell me, again, looking straight ahead, tell me how many fingers you can count, okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. looking good. Okay, okay, so what I would also like to check just really quickly is um, the outside of your eyes because sometimes when they set the eyes in it can be a little tiny bit too far back or too far forward so sometimes the skin can get a little bit irritated. Um, you do use the oils, don't you? Mm -hmm. How often a day? Twice. Mornings and evenings. Perfect. Okay. Right. So, um, just do me a favour. Close your eyes for me. I'm just going to gently... Okay. Mm -hmm. Just apply some very, very gentle pressure. Okay. Both sides, of course. Mm-hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. This shouldn't hurt. It should just maybe be a little tiny bit cold from the gloves. Okay. Alright. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, um, mm -hmm. I can see that on this side it's a little tiny bit loose. Um, so what I would like to do so I would like to just um, tighten the screws a tiny little bit, okay? This won't hurt at all. So just move your eye to the sides a little bit for me. Okay, just tighten the Okay, that's it. Um, okay, look straight ahead to me again. Is that better? Great. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to dust the sides a little tiny bit. There we go. Wonderful. Okay. Right, so, um, as I say, for the play, I don't know why we might have to send you over to my colleague, but, um, of course the focus. Um, which oil are you using at the moment? Okay. Mm-hmm. Is that the, um, the one with chamomile, or is it... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I know why. Okay, so see, mm, the oil that was given to you was actually given, um, to people that had the model that was before yours. So it could be that that's why your eyes aren't, um, adjusting at the same time. Your model is obviously very new, but, um, let me see, because I still have, um, that oil here I would use on you. Here it is. Okay. Right. Mm 
I'm sure you'll see a very big difference. So I'll do four drops, okay? We'll just take out that at the end, don't worry. Um, is there anything else that you've been experiencing? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Right, I'll take my glove off for this one. So I have to actually write that down because I have had another patient um, complain about that. But strangely enough, I feel like it has some sort of connection to human emotions. Um, hmm. have you noticed this happening when you were maybe upset, or, um, it was maybe a very joyous moment, or maybe you were a little angry about something? Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, I mean, that could maybe be the cause for the rewind action not working properly. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that then affects the colours you see as well, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, right. In that case, I might have to look at the inner workings. Um, don't mind me, I'm just going to gently press on your nose. Okay, right, let's see. Mm hmm. Ah, yes. Mm, I can see that it's definitely connected to your nerves. Mm. Yes, every time you experience stress, it tends to, um, to break out a little bit on this side, yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, do keep in mind that when you are in a very stressful situation that you find um, essentially a moment of calm in your mind and uh, have you ever tried breathing exercises? No? Well, there are apps you can use on your phone um, you could also use the technique that I learnt ages ago basically you Envision a little box, okay? So it goes this way, that way, this way, and that way. And say you breathe in on this side, hold. Breathe out on this side, hold. Breathe in again, hold. And breathe out again, and hold. And you do this for a couple of seconds, okay? Until the feeling of anger or panic stress, anxiety has left your body. Mm -hmm. I know that people often poo-hoo the whole breathing exercise thing because they think, oh, how can it help? But I promise you, it does. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course we have to close this again. Boop. There you go. Mm -hmm. so. Oh yes, of course, I can write down some apps for you. Um, or actually some books, if you feel like, um, reading up about how it all works, yeah. Okay, so two apps come to mind. Um, what's the other one called? Um, 
Oh yeah, I remember. Okay. Right, and book recommendations, I also have the three here. date, okay? So in this case it says best before 2025. So this should definitely last you. <laughs> okay, Oops, there we go. Um, do also keep in mind that it is always helpful not only for your eyes to do some facial massages. Mm -hmm. You can either perform them on yourself or ask somebody to do them for you. Um, it can be uh, anything from one minute up to ten minutes. Um, of course, doing it for too long, maybe, um, yeah, it might make you a little sleepy. <laughs> but, um, so just essentially you just take your fingers and then just go along your brows like this. Mm -hmm. It's best to do this either in the morning or before you go to bed just to relax the facial muscles because obviously you you clamp your jaw throughout the day but you also clamp up any other muscle throughout your body so it is always always important to give yourself a little massage or um i mean this can go for any body part obviously um that's why people occasionally use those um those hair brushes with the thick um the thick wooden ends you know to massage their heads just go along the brows like this, just very gently, and if you feel like that's not working, then just maybe increase the pressure a little tiny bit, just very, very gently, and then be very careful on your nose, obviously, because this is where the joint is of your eyes, and then just gently run down your nose, okay? This can also help, by the way, if you have a blocked nose, if you just gently massage the sides of your nose. It will help your nose um, yeah, when you have a bad cold, maybe some hay fever. Because if you just blow your nose, then it will make the nose swell up and then nothing will come out of your nose. It's, it's quite a vicious circle. <laughs> very, very gently, because the skin around here is very, very delicate. Okay, doesn't matter how old you are, your skin around your eyes is the most delicate. That's why when you get your eyes done, you come to us, because we're the experts. Okay, right. And then of course, under the jaw as well, you just want to make some very little circular motions, okay? Just just down here. Mm -hmm. And of course along your cheeks as well. There we go. Mm -hmm. And then you can also do the neck as well. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. I find that helps with my eyes as well. Yeah. It did before I had the Android eyes, but um, it also helps with these as well. Okay. Right. I will let my colleague know. Um, in actual fact, maybe they'll be ready in about 10 minutes because I know that one of their clients isn't coming in today. Um, you might be lucky. So, I have written down the book recommendations for you and the apps. Um, what else? Um, if you can think of anything, obviously, that I'm here all day, um, 
and I'm sure you're going to be here for a while as well. So, yeah. But I'm glad we could fix this side. That's great. Um, and that you're not feeling as dense anymore. That's perfect. So, yeah. Um, right, so the only thing really that needs um, a bit of TLC is the rewind and the, um, the play function. Okay. Right. And do keep in mind, um, about the colours that it does take two to three weeks for everything to change. So, since, um, your procedure was done two weeks ago on the dot, um, I would just give it another week. And if you seem to have any more problems, then again, just come in. Um, we are open usually Monday to Friday from 6am to 8pm. So, just give us a call or just pop in. Mm -hmm. There's always going to be somebody here to look after you, okay? Lovely, okay. Right, so the nurses will get rid of the cables up here. Um, I will be looking at um, the data exported and then I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay? Right, so you just wait here for somebody to come in, take care of you. And yeah, if you need anything, just ask for me. Okay? Alright then. You have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>